now by Wisconsin's Bronson Koenig. And Bronson, obviously, we want to break down this game a little bit. But first of all, just the notion of here you are playing mm -hmm. for a national championship. Uh, how much has that kind of settled in with you? What's, what's going through your mind? Um, I mean, it's settled in a little bit, but we're just grateful for the opportunity to be here and be able to play in a national championship game, the first one in whatever, 74 years or whatever it is. So, yeah, we're really grateful to be here. I just want to know how many texts you get last night. <laughs> um, I don't know. I didn't really count. I, didn't, I wasn't able to text everyone back. So, you know, hopefully I'll get around to it, though. Okay. All right. You'll have some time after uh, Monday, I'm after sure, Monday, to yeah. re re respond to all the texts. We were talking to Josh a little bit about the scene in the hotel. I mean... <laughs> What's that like to be up there on the, the balcony and have people absolutely going bananas? Yeah, it was crazy. I, the whole the hotel lobby was just full, filled with uh, Badger fans. So, I mean, we're really grateful for our fans. They're you know, one of the best fan bases in the country. So, yeah, we're really grateful to have them. You know, Bronson, I know you, you weren't really thinking about Duke. You were thinking about the task at hand, which is Kentucky. Your mm -hmm. first thoughts about Duke and, and how you think you guys can, can attack mm -hmm. them. Uh, yeah, obviously it, uh, it's going to give us some good experience having played them in December. Uh, we weren't playing our best basketball, obviously, and they shot you know so well, 65% in that game. And obviously they have a really good backcourt with Tyus and Quinn, and uh, you know second best player in the country in my opinion, and Jaleel. So it'll be it'll be a tough game for us. What's the biggest key to turning around that result? Uh, kind of just pressure the guards a little more, uh, make it tough for them to catch it inside. Uh, just hopefully force uh, tougher jump shots than we did in the first game. And then. Uh, talk about just being here and I know growing up you have aspirations to do certain things maybe you had the countdown in, in, the, in the driveway or trying to make the last shot was that any was that any part of your upbringing trying to win a national championship you having the ball in your hands anything like that I mean yeah that's every kid's dream and uh, it was definitely one of my dreams but you know I never really thought that I would have that um, an opportunity this early in my career, especially two years in a row like, like we have. So I'm just really grateful to be at Wisconsin. Yeah. Well, this is a Duke team that you're familiar with, not just because you played them, but also because they recruited you. Mm -hmm. What was your experience with Coach Krzyzewski during the recruiting process? Yeah, uh, Coach K and uh, Duke kind of came in a little bit later in my recruiting process, uh, but I talked to him uh, a couple times over the phone. I never took a visit, but uh, just talking to Coach K, I just could tell right away that he was just really smart, really intellectual, and kind of knew how to kind of read people and stuff like that, and he's just a very intellectual guy. All right, well, best of luck against that intellectual guy on Monday night. <laughs> Thank you. I Congratulations appreciate it. for all your success, Bronson. Thank you. Let's go back to Chicago.